Good morning, everyone. If you are watching and it's morning, um, hope you guys are doing well and that you are safe. Welcome to the Wet Shave Cave for another Shave of the Day video. Now, before I start, I just want to say thank you for your support. Um, remember that giveaway I'm doing, um, it's in my in last week's video, so I'll leave a link to that video uh, in the description below. And also, um, I'll put the video on the end screen of this video. So if you haven't watched that and haven't entered that giveaway, go ahead. Um, costs nothing and really exciting, exciting giveaway and to show my appreciation for all your support for all my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe for more shaving videos to come. Now, as you can see, I'm in a new bathroom for this couple of months. I'm doing my practicals at my previous school um, where I was a learner, previous high school. I'm super excited. Can't wait to do that. So for today's shave, I'm going to use a very special razor. It's one of my oldest um, vintage razors. This is a 40s style Gillette Super Speed. Um, it has no date code, so I'm not quite sure um, when in the 40s precisely it is, but I know it's in the 40s because it has no date code. Um, it's a twist to open. Um, it has lost its end caps, this, this end cap, this one is still intact, it lost that one. Um, it, you can see it's an old old razor, but still does the job, so I'm excited to shave with this again. Um, the blade I'm using today is a new blade, I haven't tried this before. Um, it's the Schick double edge blade, it's made in Germany. Um, it's very excited to see how this is going to go. So, almost forgot, just excuse the sound outside. It's stormy winds and snow, so you will hear that in the background maybe. So, I apologize for that, it's out of my control. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, the shaving soap I'm using today is a shaving stick from Leia. Now this is uh, made in Spain, it's a Spanish soap. Now Leia started in 1823, that's nearly 200 years ago. And they still manufacture um, shaving products and other grooming um, essentials. Now the Leia company um, has been through six generations. The sixth generation of that, the, the same family um, that makes these um, products so super excited to try this never tried this before has an amazing amazing scent if you haven't smelled the layer scent before you're missing out this is a fantastic stunning scent really really excited to try this so let's get started okay so my omega um, 49 um, um, ball brush is soaking in lukewarm water so while that's soaking I'm going to put on the shaving step now I'm just going to wet my face and wet the shaving stick and just apply it generously So I'm just going to dip, I dip this in a little bit of water. Okay, I'm just going to work it in. The scent is really, really amazing. Um, I've used uh, the Arco shaving stick before, um, which is also very, very nice. Never used this before. I'm 
We are going to apply it generously. And this I'm just going, I'm going to lather on the face. So my brush has been soaking for plus or minus I think five, six minutes. I'm just going to give it a few shakes and then I'm going to lather on the face. That scent is really, really amazing. So you just work it in. Nice. Scent. Wow. So I'm just going to work it in until it's built um, a nice ladder. So I'm just going to stop the video to save some time. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, now my ladder seems quite, quite nice. Okay, so the Schick blade is loaded. It's my first use. Um, excited to try this. Wow. That's super, super slick. Really, really nice. So, so nice. I really, really like this. Um, I've been to Spain um, in 2017 and um, the beginning of 2018. And back then I did not know about wet shaving. So I walked past all those shaving sh um, shops without knowing about anything. Oh, I'm so, so mad at myself for not discovering where shaving earlier. But uh, luckily my aunt who lives there, my uh, grandmother's um, sister, I visited um, them back in 2017. And I'm planning to go again sometime and everything is sort of back to normal, I hope. Um, so I'm planning to go in about, I think, two, three years to Spain again and then I will come back. I'll go with an empty suitcase and come back with a full suitcase full of shaving products. I'm um, excited to do that. So there's a lot of shaving products from Spain that I want to try. I have um, a La Toja shaving cream. I'll do a video on that someday. Um, Also a very, very nice um, shaving cream. But this layer shaving soap, shaving stick is absolutely amazing. It has a stunning, stunning scent. Really fantastic. So I'm also planning 
to do something there on the wall for a nice background. So hopefully that happens soon. Right, well, the stubble in the basin is, uh, it's mind blowing actually. Wow, really nice. So I'm just going to rinse my face a little bit and apply more of that amazing shaving soap. Okay, just making sure my face is nice and wet. I'm just gonna dip this in the water again. And apply that. Amazing scent. I would like to get uh, the shaving puck of the layer of shaving soap as well. Someday, when I go to Spain. Really nice. I love this wall brush. Um, I'm getting a badger brush. week or so, I think, um, and a couple of other nice shaving products. Really, really nice. And I must say that blade really surprised me. I never, never used it before. Um, but wow, um, it's really, really smooth actually. Wow, now that's, that's amazing. Okay, second pass. Now, my face is red, almost always in the winter. Um, it's really, really cold here in the Eastern Cape. Um, so my face, my cheeks are always red. So in the winter time, I try not to shave with a mentholated um, shaving cream or soap, because that makes it so worse. So this blade is really sharp actually. Because in the winter time I also have a very sensitive skin, so seasonal sensitive skin. So I'm excited for this weekend. Uh, the Formula One is racing in Silverstone. Um, the new qualifying um, challenge, um, the sprint race. So I'm excited to see how that's going to go. So that's really new in Formula One. I think, yeah, I don't think they ever did a sprint race if I can recall. Yes, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be a tough one. So I hope uh, you guys are well. Um, and 
tell me in the comments below what's your shave of the day, if you are having one. Um, get the conversation going. And I also just want to say again, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm excited that you guys subscribed and for all your support. Okay, and just gonna rinse the face. I'm just gonna leave some of it still on my face and see how much leather I can get off that and this on the shaving brush. Quite a few. Okay, so that's So just would like to remind you if you um, did not enter the giveaway yet and uh, you would like to, please enter the closing date is the, I think the 30, 30, 31st of July, end of the month. Then I'll choose a lucky winner for that amazing um, Combo deal from Master Soap Creations on Yucky South Africa's website. So if you don't know what the prize is, also leave a link to their website where you can check out all the combo deals they have. So if you win my giveaway, you go to the website, you choose the combo you would like, you let me know, and I'll send it to you. So really, really easy and all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel, comment in, not in this video, the one where I announced the giveaway, hashtag TWSC to enter the giveaway. So I will verify all the subscribers and use a random comment picker to choose a lucky winner. Okay, final pass. This super steep speed. Almost oh, said super steed. <laughs> well, this is really a stunning razor. This blades really impressed me. Um, did not think that would be this sharp and smooth. But uh, I still prefer the Gillette Nasset or Feather. Um, and Lord, I love the Lord blade and the silver, Gillette Silver Blue blade. But this is really, really nice, nice blade. But to me, it's it's okay. It's okay. Your opinion might be different from mine, but that's good. Nobody can be the same. Shaving cream. I hear the winds has died down a bit. So I wonder how it's looking outside. What's this? Oh, it's a hair from the brush. I nick myself there. 
And here, oh, this is a difficult spot for me. But like I said, you can't get a closer shave than blood. But I have something that will sort that out very quickly. From master soap creations, still need to get the soap on this splash I have. Good. Just going to rinse the face of that shaving stick. shave for me um, it's a really really sharp smooth blade the ship blade but it seems that it doesn't my skin doesn't like it that much um, could be the pairing with the, the razor um, I will try it in the future with a different razor maybe but I think my skin I was not like that so very much, but ah, oh, doing reviews, shaving product reviews. So yes, so now I'm just going to sort this out with a nice citrus melody from Martha Soap Creations. Um, nice splash, with a nice citrus smell. I'll give it a few shakes. Um, I'm still going to get me the shaving soap, um, but yes, thank you very much for this, Fernando. I wonder, maybe just. mentholated and very very strong oh that scent oh wow smell that oh wow the citrus is really really there my eyes are tearing up from the menthol but wow really really nice very cold so I think my cheeks are going to turn red in a few moments. But wow, I, it stings a little bit here, not that much. But wow, that menthol, my eyes are tearing up, wow. The ingredients is uh, witch hazel, rose water, um, denatured alcohol, essential oils and fragrance oils. Really, really nice. Amazing, that scent, citrus scent, um, I usually, citrus scents are more for the summer, and we have a bleeder, nice bleeder here, so I'm going to sort that out in a bit, yes, but this, this, like I said, the citrus is more in the summer, um, so nice summer scent but uh, the aftershave balm i'm going to use is from arco the aqua aftershave balm stunning i love arco i'm going to get the sensitive one also the lavender scent Really nice. Oh, feels so cool and soothing. 
refreshing. I love that scent of that aftershave splash. Really, really amazing. Wow, with this arco as well. And this is still bleeding. Um, I had a skin irritation here, I think last week maybe. And it died down a little bit, but I think I need to a bump there, but oh, doesn't matter. I would take that any day to get a nice close shave. Wow, that was so so amazing. Now, just to recap, um, I've used the Gillette um, 40s style um, Super Speed, um, it's made in the 1940s, I'm not sure. When in the 40s, um, if you maybe know, let me know in the comments below. Um, but really, amazing razor, one of my oldest razors I have in my collection. I've used the Schick blades made in Germany, and this is still going um, in Germany. So it's 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 okay for me. Um, I don't really prefer. That won't be my go-to blade, let's say it that way. Um, so this uh, shaving stick I use is from the layer. I'm just going to let this dry down a bit before I put it back in this in container. Very, very nice, amazing scent. Um, and this, wow. From Maltesau Creations, the aftershave splash from it's a Citrus Melody. Mentholated, stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm super impressed by that aftershave splash. Amazing. And I've used the Arco Men aftershave balm, the Aqua one, and Omega Ball shaving brush. A really amazing brush. So that's it for today's shave. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll leave a link to all the products and use today in the description below so go check it out and get yours today um, have a wonderful day guys and a wonderful week i will see you guys next week wednesday morning for another shaving video um, please make sure to enter that giveaway uh, have a wonderful day guys bye bye